Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mr. Sketchhead official wrap up of 2021. I'm trying a new camera angle here. Uh, this is definitely not the result of me uh, having just recorded a music video and being too lazy to change the camera angle. Definitely not that. So the wrap up for 2021 is here. A day late. I know, I know it's a day late, but I was not in the best like state yesterday. I was pretty hungover. So, you know, I just had to kind of like rest it out because that video would have been a mess. Uh, so I just decided to, uh, you know, like skip a day if I can. So I do one of these videos every year, pretty much between Christmas and the new year, uh, where I sum up sort of what's been happening on the channel over the past year, what the goals are for next year, what games I'm looking forward to and all that jazz, you know. Uh, to be honest with you, to say that 2021 has not been the best year for me would be an understatement. Uh, you guys know COVID is still a thing. Everybody's dealing with it. Uh, it's still going on here, constantly having to juggle like vaccines, restrictions, masks here, masks there. Everybody sort of like being on edge. That's one thing that has really sort of like put a dent into this year for everyone pretty much. And then if you've been watching the channel, you know the thing that has been happening with my dog uh, towards the first half of the year. I talked about it in another video. I'm really not looking to talk about it too much. Uh, but again, it has not been the best year for me. Luckily, towards the second half of things, like pretty much from September, I think I have started a good streak here, which I plan to keep on doing. By good streak, I mean my viewership is up. Uh, I'm recording videos that I enjoy recording. I have a format that I'm sticking to that I like. You guys seem to like the format. Uh, and things have been just pretty much going a little bit on the up up, which is what I wanted to do for 2021. But due to circumstances, it just did not happen. However, for 2022, this is definitely my big goal. Uh, now that I have the channel sort of stabilized and it's in a good place, in terms of, again, engagement, viewership, etc., my big plan for 2022 is to put it back on the growth period, as in start getting more subscribers because I'm pretty much getting like very, very low amounts of new subscribers uh, every month. So really my big goal is to uh, grow a little bit more because, you know, why not? Luckily, it seems like 2022 will give us plenty of new games where I will be able to do just that. Uh, the biggest one being Elden Ring. Elden Ring is coming out pretty soon. Uh, and I think it's going to be a good one. It's looking really good. And it's one of the big games. You know, like a new Souls game is always good for the channel. And I'm really like planning on capitalizing on Elden Ring's hype and sort of using it as a booster for my channel because I think it's really needed. Plus, new Souls game, like who isn't looking forward to a new Souls game? So Elden Ring is one of the things. The other games that I'm like really looking forward to, uh, there are a couple of them, mainly fighting games. Uh, there is a couple coming out. King of Fighters also releasing in February. Might pick that up. Also, there is one which is it's one of those anime fighters uh, with like a super complicated name is releasing in March. And that's also something I'm planning to pick up because fighting games are, you know, a thing on my channel and I really enjoy playing them. And honestly, Mortal Kombat 11 didn't really scratch the fighting game itch for me. I got bored of it pretty quickly and I just sort of didn't go back to Street Fighter 5, although I do have the new DLC pack, which I still need to play. Uh, but these new fighting games, both of them I'm looking forward to. King of Fighters, by the time I sort of learned of the King of Fighters series, the game at that time, uh, which I think is King of Fighters 14, I might be, there's like a ton of them, I might get the name, the numbers wrong, uh, was already pretty old. Uh, and, you know, the community was not that active. Now with the new one coming out, I plan on jumping in because, you know, I've never really managed to get into any team fighting game before. I didn't enjoy Marvel Infinite. I didn't enjoy uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. And the anime one, as embarrassing as it is to play one of those games, um, anime fighters have good mechanics. So that's what I'm looking for. Plus, there's like a ton of indie games coming out, bunch of Souls likes. Uh, basically, I have good things planned for the channel. Good things. 
the only thing we need to do now is I got to finish uh, Tales of Drang Lake, which is the sort of longer game. There's still quite a lot of it left. The other one I need to take care of is the Hunter Guide. The Hide and Hunter Guide kind of went on a little bit longer than I expected. But, you know, with the preparations for Christmas and all that, I just didn't have as much time to record. Plus, I'm doing January. That's taking up quite a bit. But now I'm sort of getting back into recording. So I will have that out as well as soon as possible. And then we're moving on to bigger and better things. Souls are still a thing. That's going to be my main focus for this year. Elden Ring coming out and the fighting games. That's really what I'm planning. Plus, you know, a couple of music videos here and there. You guys seem to enjoy that little music snippet uh, or slash tutorial that I put up so expect more of those and who knows who knows what else uh, I always wanted to try vlogging 2020 and 2021 weren't the prime years for vlogging really uh, I think that's a thing for everyone so I don't know we'll see what happens this year but I think again I'm in a good place I'm really happy with the channel I'm not as like demoralized as I was in 2020 at the end of the year I was like pretty down on the channel and like what the future of the channel would be and finally good thing I remember this uh, to address the big question of streaming people always ask me whether I'm going to stream again uh, and the answer is always unfortunately just a not a very definite maybe uh, hey, that's an Oasis album. Uh, yeah, the thing with streaming is I like it. I like streaming. I've always liked streaming. It's just uh, finding the time for it is always complicated. As in juggling the time zones, juggling what games I'm going to be playing. And, you know, with the dog, I have a ton of games. I've got the dog, the family. Uh, Netflix series that I'm watching and all that a lot of the times the two days you have for the weekend next to my full-time job is just simply not enough to like sacrifice two and a half three hours out of a Saturday or a Sunday uh, to stream because that's really the only way it's worth it streaming is only worth it if you're able to do it for like a long time and you're able to do it consistently for me to stream once a week I currently don't really feel like it's worth it. I mean, every game I would stream takes a ton of hours uh, or a, t a hell of weeks to complete. So I don't know. That's like my current sort of feeling on streaming. Not that I'm not counting it out. Again, the concept itself I really enjoy. It's just uh, somehow I'll be somehow I need to like figure out some time frame to do it. It might happen this year it might who knows so yeah I think that about wraps up this little channel summary just wanted to quickly jump on here and talk to you guys talk to you guys and say what's going on and what's coming up ahead so as always I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here if you did enjoy make sure to give this video a like comment subscribe turn on post notifications as always and I hope to catch all of you next time peace out and goodbye